Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about a string sliding over a table. Okay, this is a problem of classical mechanics. It's easy to solve, but now here, today we're going to use uh, not the Newton's law straight, but we're going to use the Lagrangian uh, to solve this problem. Um, so let's take a look uh, in this sketch here to see what we're talking about. We have a table and we have a string that starts to fall down as we can see in this picture and we want to know the velocity and the equation of movement of this string okay and uh, we're gonna take this as the zero level to the potential that we we're gonna need to know uh, and the coordinated system it's gonna be like this okay so the string um, has a linear density we're gonna call ho Okay, and the total length is going to be L. Uh, if the total length is going to be L, we, if we call this length Y, just because it's in Y direction, uh, this other part is going to be nothing but L minus Y. Okay? Uh, that's very important to know that we are not considering in this problem friction forces okay so the, co the the string is gonna straight slide over the table with no friction with no forces due to the surface okay that is the point uh, so what we want to know we want to know the differential equation of the movement how this string is moving according to time okay uh, for this we have to know the Lagrangian okay but we know by the principle of least action that Lagrangian is nothing but the kinetic energy minus the potential energy so as long as we know the, the kinetic energy and the potential energy we are able to calculate the Lagrangian and uh, as long as we know the Lagrangian we are able to solve the problem just using the Lagrangian equation in this case it's gonna be this one okay so first we need to calculate the Lagrangian and then put this Lagrangian over here to solve this problem finding the differential equation of movement for this string sliding on the table okay so um, uh, let's calculate the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is gonna be something like that okay we all know it. Uh, we just have to know what mass we have to put here and what velocity we have to put here. This is the total kinetic energy. So the mass we need to put here is the total mass of the string. If the string has the, de the linear density ho, the total mass of the string is going to be ho times L. And the velocity we need to put here is the string's velocity. As long as the string is falling down in this direction with a velocity, we can call y dot, okay, or v y. All points on the string is gonna be moving with the same v y velocity, okay, because all of them are connected. And, uh, so uh, the velocity is gonna be v y, or we can call y dot. That is derivative of y according to time okay I'm gonna use this notation instead of this okay so I'm gonna call the derivative of y according to time uh, I'm gonna call this as y dot uh, so let's put here and calculate our kinetic energy great that is our kinet total kinetic energy for this problem now we need to take a look to the potential energy. The potential energy is going to be um, just uh, realize that if this is the zero, all of the coordinated uh, up under this point is going to be a negative. It's going to be negative. So um, the potential energy it's going to be something like that, something like that, mg times h. 
the mass we need to put here is the mass of this vertical part of the string, okay? That is ho times y, and height is gonna be it's the center of mass of the vertical part of the string that is located in y by 2. That's straight away we can see that, no problems. And ah, we cannot forget that uh, if we have this coordinated system and this is the zero point, this is gonna be minus, okay? And the, the potential energy is gonna be negative because it's under the level zero. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, ho times y times g times I'm gonna put the minus over here y by 2 if you just uh, simplify this we're gonna have half times ho times g y squared okay now we have the kinetic energy and the potential energy we can now calculate our Lagrangian it's gonna be nothing but the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. Uh, so let's put that. Oh, L. Y dot square minus the potential energy that is minus something. It's gonna change the signal over here and we're gonna have the Grangian like this. Okay. The first part of the problem is solved. We have the Lagrangian now. We just need to put this quantity in this equation and get our solution, okay? That we are interested of. Um, okay, let's do that. Let's compute the derivative according to y dot of the Lagrangian. If we do that, uh, we're just gonna see that the result is gonna be this okay and uh, if we do the same but but now respect uh, according to y we're gonna see that the result is gonna be this so uh, in this part we still need to take the, the, the time derivative okay just gonna be the one more time one more derivative according to time in y as long as we know in this in this case rho and l are constant okay oh, so uh just using this equation right now we're gonna have the result So uh, what we need to see that is that um, the motion of the string, okay, the motion does not depend upon the the density of the string, okay. Okay, dividing by L, okay, as long as L is not zero we're gonna have this equation this differential equation okay and uh, this is the the answer for this problem okay this string is gonna slide down over the table like this and the movement of the string is gonna be predicted by this equation okay and looking to this equation, uh, it's easy to see the hyperbolic function is going to be the answer, okay? And uh, if you wanted to push forward, uh, just solve this, this differential equation, that's very easy to do. But it's not in the scope of this problem, uh, and you're going to see that the hyperbolic functions are the answer. And uh, that's it. See you in another video.